Another thing that I'm really excited about today is start to looking at some opportunities to lift production as you lift supply, not just by stacking more goats in goat paddocks. Um, looking at things like improving reproduction and looking at improving things like genetics. What's the most popularly eaten red meat in the world? You're a good audience. Okay, what about this one here? What's the esti estimated demand, increase in demand for protein when the population reaches 10 billion people? Percentage increase demand for protein. 70%. And what the people, the producers of fake meat, so looking at a, a global goat meat production, and this is on a, a volume type basis, um, Australia is a really small player in the game. So globally we don't produce a whole lot of goat meat when you compare us to a lot of other countries. But we are the largest exporter of goat meat on a global scale. So we don't produce a lot of it, but what we do is... Because as, as the prices are doing this, everyone thinks they're making more money. Guess what? The cost base is going along with it at the same rate. So the margins haven't changed in the last 10 years, even though the prices have done this. So you're a lamb producer. Pay for advice. I can't stress that one enough. If you don't know how to benchmark your business, you can call John. If you can't muster all your goats, you hire some um, contract musterers. If this is just a bend your mind, there are people out there. They can help step you through this.